That's close enough to the start time, I think. Let's uh, start checking out these camera devices, see if everything's working. See my audio is making the meter move, so I think that's working. Microphone. Doo -doo -doo. There's my ugly mug, hello. I don't know if anyone's watching yet, but I'll be recording this later, so I want to check how my audio is going. There's the workbench. Slightly tidy. Um, here's the thing I'm going to be working on. It is the... Uh, oops. Yeah, the digital I.O. board for the RC2014 kit computer. Got a couple other boards I want to try building too, but we'll see if I get to those. Da -da -da, next camera. There's the workbench. There's a the close-up camera. Still kind of playing around with um, the exact perspective on this thing. I would l I'm trying to figure out how to show you what I see while I'm working, and it's very hard to do. Like, that's kind of close, and it's not super intrusive. I thought, like, it might be cool to wear those, like, fancy meta Ray-Ban glasses or something, but I feel like that would just be, like, a vomitron as my head moves around and the camera view goes all over. So this is as close as it gets, probably. Look kind of sinister. It's kind of dark out here. Anyway, that's probably enough of a preamble. Okay, that's a microscope that I don't have plugged in. Then I guess it's upside down, which is kind of annoying. Oh well. Yeah, so, hang on, it's in my light a little bit, which is kind of annoying also. Anyway, what I plan to do today, tonight, that's a good compromise. I aim to work on this board. And the main thing to do is to add the, re the resistors on either side. Looks like there's a few diodes I gotta find. And then of course the, the interface and headers. Again, this is for the um, RC2014 kit computer I've been building. Which, uh, yeah, the light here sucks. Anyway, this is it. That's a little brighter. It's a neat little computer. Um, I've been building a case for it, so you can't see the boards in all their glory, but you can see these boards. 
It's like a computer made out of little like index card sized cards that each provide different features and functions for the thing. And this is the next board. Last stream, we got all these LEDs um, soldered in, got all the buttons soldered in, got the chip sockets soldered in. Now I'm going in for the resistors. Um, resistors, I do not remember my resistor color codes at all. I probably never will remember them. When I tried assembling one of these before, boards before, I was using my uh, meter to test what the resistor values were, and I forgot the concept of threshold or tolerance, which means what my meter says might be a certain exact value, but that's not actually what they call that resistor. So let's see. On this side, Looks like it's upside down, but it looks like that side wants all 2K2 resistors. There's a few 2K2s over here. Looks like I'm going to need 8, 9, 10, 11 2K2 resistors. So let's go on a scavenger hunt for those. I'm trying to get better about switching the camera when I'm going to different things, too. I tried to label some of these, so I think these are our 2K2 resistors. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of these left. Now these are what are the color bands in these? It's um red, 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 gold. On up from the bottom. I guess I can go left or right. Red, 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 gold. Which according to this, do to do two K two is red, 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 and then Tolerance. So, red, 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 gold is 2K2 with a tolerance of 5%. Cool. So I think, I think this is what I'm looking for. I think these are the 2K2s. Um, I also need to find, it's upside down for you, but I need to find three 1Ks and two 3K3s. So, what's the code for a 1K? Do they even list 1Ks on this particular thing? Yeah, they do. Okay. So our 1Ks are going to be brown, black, red. Brown, black, red. So. Ah. I need three 1Ks, and I have three 1Ks left. Um, and these are... Oop. Oh, focus. It's like, uh... Brown, black, red, gold. Brown, black, red, gold. Brown, black, red, gold. Well, these are my one case. Sweet. And then I said I needed three case. I thought this was going to be harder. I'm already jinxing myself, though. Um, 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 um. I had written on the paper here to try to label some of these. So, 3K3 on the chart. 3K3 is orange, orange, red. And I have... Yep. Looks like orange, orange, red, gold. So, these are my 3K3s. Awesome. Um, kind of trying to do my mise en place here and get like, did I even pronounce that right? Trying to get all my crap in order. I also need diodes, right? This is what I'm building. A row of diodes here. Got diodes around here somewhere. Make sure I got all the uh, requisite diodes. Uh, 
They're just kind of banging around loose inside this thing. I dumped all the parts in this, like, deli, this, uh, clean deli meat container at one point. This thing's come in handy for, like, stupid little projects and parts and things. Oh, grab these tiny components. I could use... my super dangerously sharp tweezers to grab parts. Okay, so I have four diodes. Oh, I saw more in here. I think I used the used them in anything else. On four so far. Get out of my pile. Hope I had enough diodes and I didn't lose any anywhere. I did. I think I'm pretty sure I've got a supply of diodes behind me somewhere. I might have to go searching. Um, well, I can start inserting the, uh, the resistors right away. Then I can look for more diodes as I need them. I know there's, a, there's another board I want to build here, and I'm trying to remember if it needs diodes. Yeah, it needs a diode. There's the other board I want to build at some point soon, and it is this one. Yeah, okay, this diode. This big, um... That's so I need the board. This board. I'm going to build this board at some point soon. Maybe if I'm done with this one, I'll move on to that one next. But it needs... Um... This... Chunky diode. So uh, that doesn't go on this board. Well, shoot. I may need to go on a scavenger hunt for diodes at some point. Well, we got the parts we got, so let's get started on it. One good thing is this side is all 2K2 resistors, so I can just kind of get those in there immediately. Resistors. One, two, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, I got eight resistors out right here. Yeah, I gotta start bending the leads on them. At one point I saw it today, I saw like a 3D printed jig for bending leads on components like this. I should, uh, I should grab that and print it. Then it also reminds me, I want to get the sound card for this computer. I think it's got the same Yamaha chip as, a, as the Speccy. Okay. 
shoot. It's not quite aligning. mute button for I sneezed. I'm just kind of straightening these out or bending these so they can get them into the PCB. You bent very close to the body of the component. I want to be careful because, of course, they only have so many bends before the uh, the legs break. And I'm just kind of bending the legs out under the board once I get them in there, so that then I can flip the board over and then start soldering. Basic stuff, you probably know all about it. Come on, get in your holes. Three more resistors on this side. Pretty great demos I got in this playlist. It's um, I pronounce it Poey, Poey.net. It's a site that has all kinds of demo releases. I just kind of like searched for the top 50 from the last five years in terms of votes and ratings and tried to find them all on YouTube and uh, build a playlist. I'm gonna try keeping track of like pop new demos in there and see if I'd include it in my playlist. side done for resistors. And this other side. Just 
start off the 2K2. This side was easy because it's all 2K2s. This side, it changed up a lot. There's a 2K2. Next is 1K. I just heard a snap. Ah, okay, I think we're fine. Resistor's fine. Resistor's not sitting quite flush and it's bugging me, which means I'm probably going to fuss with it until I break the mic. Good enough. Good enough. Flush enough. If it puts with it very much more, I'm going to break that and then I have to go fishing for a replacement. Alright, that was a 1k. Now I need a 3k3. Kind of trying to roll these ends over as close to the uh, body of the resistor as possible. And the fewer bends I can give it, the less likely I am to break the pin. Oh, that one dropped in nice. Probably gonna hit the knack of these just in time to be done with them. Is what I say all the time. Okay, next one is a 3K3. And I'm just kind of trying to get that bent just settled. Three, three. Yeah, I think it was. I'm gonna find the uh, schematic real quick. 
Oh, weird. Okay, that's weird. Oh, though he's got different um, values for the resistors here, probably, because um, the LEDs are all different on this board. So they all probably need different resistance values. That's interesting. Because I bought the 2014 Pride. Which is very attractive. Colorful. This is the digital IO board. Hmm? The neighborhood cat outside my workshop. Tempted to let her in or let him in. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is better. I can see the resistor colors here. I'm getting the right thing. I was worried I put the wrong resistor twice in a row. Let's see if I can let the cat in. Hey, bud, bud. Meow. I don't know, maybe I'll get visited by a cat. Meow. All right, so what we need next are the 1Ks. Got two 1Ks in a row. And again, just a double, triple, quadruple check. Our 1Ks are brown, black, red. Brown, black, red. So I roll these over as close to the body as I can. Cat seems to like us. Things out in the yard a bunch. We've uh, cat sit for them while they've been on vacation. So I think their uh, their kitty recognizes us now and kind of tries to get in our house occasionally, which is not super copacetic because our cats are are indoor only and do not want an outdoor neighbor visitor. Almost done with these resistors. Well, done with the, the placement. Let me get the soldering. For a while, I wasn't super interested in um, the demo scene on Windows because I'm I grew up with Amiga and I'm partial to like Amiga stuff. They do some cool stuff on Windows. I mean, they they showed the hardware; it's like amazing. But all right, now I need some 2K tunes. Uh, quadruple check this. 2K2 is red, red. 2K2, red, red, red. And we have here, red, red, red. Yep, awesome. Although I want 
I'm being picky. I want the golds to face the outside, the outer edge of the board on either side, so I'm putting the resistors in opposite directions. It's not necessary. Well, that one just dropped right in. Why aren't the rest of these that nice? That one went in. All right. So I'm just kind of looking at my resistors here. Red, 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 red. Brown, black, red, brown, brown, black, red. Orange, orange, red, orange, orange, red. Brown, black, red, 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 okay. Got the right resistors in there. Oh, it looks like we need a 10K resistor down here. A little 10K resistor sneaking around down there. Okay, well, what are the color codes for a 10K resistor? Brown, black, orange. All right, you know, I'm gonna close my shop door. The kitty didn't wander in. I don't want other neighborhood critters to wander in. My shop is in a detached building from the house. Sometimes uh, I had a raccoon wandering in the shop once. That was fun yet scary. So, again, MK, brown, black, orange, brown, black, orange, yep. Again, just kind of rolling these as close to the body as I can, gently as I can, and then this is going to go right here. Oh, that one, went, that one went in very nicely. Okay. What else we got? Oh, that's a capacitor. So there's a couple capacitors. Need to figure out what the value of those capacitors are. Probably 100 nanofarad. Because that's all I got left for capacitors. Let's look at the schematic real quick. C1, C2. Just got the two of them. Two capacitors, yeah. Does it see the value in here? It doesn't see the value in here, but the bill of materials. Yeah, 100 nanofarad capacitor. All right. That's what we got. A couple uh, few of these left in the kit. I think I'm probably just getting this one board probably soldered up tonight. I'm looking at it. I've been streaming for about 40 minutes so far. My goal is an hour. It's almost 10.30 here p.m. I don't want to be out here all night. It's school night. But I want to see if I can do these kind of like, you know, just quick one hour streams. Get a few things done. Make sure the equipment's working. I might do longer streams on the weekend. 
I can manage to keep this going. I'm, uh, I'm extremely ADHD, so who knows, I might disappear again for like three months. Okay, so this looks like this drops in here. And then what I'm going to do next is flip this board over and start soldering. Well, not quite next. I got these four diodes. It looks like they got their stripe goes up. I guess that's what the square bit means. Stripes go up. I only have four diodes. I've got two diodes missing or floating around somewhere. As far as I can tell, this box has all my available parts. Except for like some chips and sockets. I think I have diodes. But I may look for some more in my, uh, my own stock. Reasonably sure he gave me all the parts I needed when he assembled the kit. So I'm definitely not saying I got short of any parts. But this kit has been in progress since last summer and lots of stuff has moved around here. if I ended the stream with a new board for the computer. All right. That says diodes in place. I wonder if I can dig through to uh, a little parts stock back here. Which of course is conveniently off camera. Because why would I plan ahead for this? Oh, I got LEDs. I got diodes I'm not the right kind these are well I guess they're 1 in 4001 I mean I guess is that what these are that's what the board says 6 1 in 4001 they don't look visually the same. Maybe diodes or diodes. I thought I had some that looked exactly like that. I got some logic chips. I got some heat shrink. Oh, I got more capacitors. I got some, oh, these are nice. These are, um, we cut wire legs for uh, for breadboards. Forgot I had these. Transistors. We don't need any transistors. We got random crap. We got a spider. Um, 
the spider plant in its own business. I got, um, I don't know where this bag of crap is. It's like a random bag of parts from some kit. I swear I had diodes just like that. I guess I don't. Badness. Yeah. Got chip sockets. I bought like a bazillion components at one point. Zener diodes. Yeah, this is the kit I'm thinking of. I bought this kit at one point. This um, interstellar electronics. And it claims to have diodes. But I, at one point, I guess, emptied the package out. I don't know exactly where I emptied the package out to. Oh, I think I emptied it into the uh, bin behind me. Or into the uh, drawers behind me. I gotta organize this place better. Of course, nothing in this is labeled. And I just stuck it up on a high shelf not too long ago. Yeah, I got a drawer of resistors. That's all resistors. Oh, and a, and a random headphone jack for some reason. That's a drawer of resistors. That's what we got. This is a drawer of. Oh! Did I hit the jackpot? I might have. There we go. These look like diodes. Let me see if it's the right kind, though. I doubt that I put the diodes in this drawer from the kit. How can I can't just get this bag open? I'm gonna get a bag open. Fingers aren't working. There you go. All right. These are fun. Down, 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 down. You know, I don't actually know what the difference is between these different diodes. The baggies are labeled. I know what diodes do. Sort of. So I should maybe do a little reading to make sure I'm substituting with the uh, appropriate part. These all look huge. diodes in here, there's voltage regulators, there's MOSFETs, there's all kinds of fun crap. All right, well, let me look, let me do a tiny bit of research. I only got about 10 minutes left in my uh, scheduled time. So, the bill of material says I will have gotten 1N48 diodes times 6. This says 1N4000 one. There's the difference is. Match relative. Oh, yeah, he's right about that. Okay, to match the relative LED brightnesses, the resistors are different to the standard IO module. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so, okay, let's do a tiny bit of research. Diode. 
The, the board says 4001, so I don't know what the differences in these are. Beginner parts identification. Diode. Diodes are used to ensure current flows in only one direction. Yeah, I know that part. This comes at the cost of a small forward drop. Across them, there are two varieties of diodes in this kit. 1N48. Small signal diode. And the 1N4001 rectifying diode. 1N is a neat orange and black looking diode. Black and gray diode. Okay, so these... The board is labeled for this diode. The bill of materials says I should have six of these. Both diodes shave exterior characteristics, however they differ in electrical ratings. One in 4001 has a much higher forward current rating. Also has a slightly higher forward voltage rating. One, it usually takes a role in power conversion circuits. Small signal is better in low current application. Okay. So that makes me think I don't want I don't want to substitute with, with these honkers. Because that definitely looks like the uh, diode rectifier. Yeah, that's, that's these. But now, I don't quite understand the difference between all of these diodes and if any of them are a suitable substitution. And I'm sure I haven't found them swimming in here. Yes. You have another baggie of diodes. Those two diodes are some of the last parts on there, too. Okay, oh wait, there's another baggie here. Maybe I have found the diodes I'm looking for. So I want to at least find diodes that physically look similar to what I'm trying to replace. Ah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. This baggy. This baggy. Is labeled by someone, not me, with IN4148. I think this is my part. They do look very physically similar to those. I think I'll use it. The reason I bought all these spare parts. And then someday I'll find the two that I'm missing. Maybe. Unless the neighbor cat did it. I need two of these. And... yeah, okay. Yeah, those look correct. Yeah, I couldn't even tell the difference. I only got about five minutes left in the uh, training schedule. Maybe I will go long. If only to make sure I've soldered all of this. I've done, all the part, I've done all the part placement. I would like to have finished the soldering. I would like to have finished the car. I'm trying to remember... Is this... a dual row car? It's not. Okay. The other interesting thing is there are these little... jumpers... soldered in. I think this output port, input port. I almost wish that was a um, 
actual pin bank with a jumper I could switch between, but I guess it's not that important for now. I'm curious about what those jumpers are. These, these here, why do I have to solder those in? That's what that's like. Um, I think it's these two here. They're just connections. I don't know why they're there like that. That's curious. Well, we can do that. What I think I'm going to do. Like this didn't come with little jumpers to throw in there, but when I cut off the pins to, or the legs to components, I tend to keep the legs. And so I can kind of go into my little like junk thing here and grab a couple cast off legs. Use those for jumpers. That tends to work. I'm not trying to do this with tweezers, it's not actually helping. selection on either side and in my browser view here that's here and here on the left and right they're both in zero I'm just gonna go with that I guess if I have to I could desolder it I could get a pin header there at some point I could do jumpers I don't know how often I would really want to change the port And I think this is the last actual, like, component. These two. It'd be kind of cool if, like, tomorrow I can be playing with blinking lights and whatnot. Yeah, I'm over an hour now. <sighs> Didn't do any soldering yet. Soldering iron's been warmed up the whole time. One last component. Let me this header. And this is what it plugs into the board with. So it just kind of goes like that. 
You know, there's an extra pin on this side. Curious about that. All right. Well, I guess I could save the rest of the soldering for tomorrow night or for the weekend. Kind of unsatisfying. I'm going to do it real quick, and I'll just go to bed a little late. <laughs> it's quarter to 11. Here's the mess on the back of all the pins. Very unsatisfying not to have finished this. Maybe I can at least tack in the headers. This is how I end up staying up till midnight. Just kind of tacking a couple of these pins. And because this component can't just be kind of bent into place. Do that now. Yeah, that's kind of a mess back there. <laughs> It'll be fun to solder through. solder a few things. Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes and that's it. I'm not going to solder the whole board tonight. That is kind of a mess though. Sit down for this. I've been standing.
can see that a little better if I go like that. Those aren't terrible. Not the finest of artisanal soldering. Just kind of working across the board, soldering these parts, clipping out the leads as I go, tidy it up. I guess I could solder everything first and then trim. But I do want to get take care of some of the rat's nest going on here. A weird weave of the weeds going on here. Some part of me is very tempted to hold the solder in my mouth. It's because, you know, I hold things in my mouth sometimes, but uh, solder in your mouth is not really the best thing. I'm 
pretty sure my solder is uh, lead free. So close. And somehow I've like woven these pins together back here. I guess they're not pins. the component leg into my keyboard, which actually doesn't need to be sitting here right now. I don't know why I still have the keyboard sitting there. Very close. I am 15 minutes over. But I'm very close, so... After this, I got the headers. I think I might just hunker down and finish it. Oops. I cut part of the solder ball with that leg, but that's okay. Alright. 
adjust my little hands here. I need to go through these pins pretty fast. This is very dramatic countdown music. I think I've already heard this song tonight. Definitely need to keep expanding the playlist. What's that? Uh, let's do a quick little inspection. It's kind of filthy with the bugs, uh, but uh, we got those components. We got some jumpers. Did all the chip sockets a couple nights ago. LEDs too. Let's see how the board look from this side. Yeah, those diodes nudged around a little bit. I'm not super happy about that. I'd like it to all be like perfectly nice and neat, but I tried. Um, last thing left is to seat the chips. I'm gonna leave this in front of the camera because it's uh interesting bit of the stream. All right, so the ICs I have left, let's see. Got some rounds and crap. So I need seven, four, Hard to see from this angle. Seven four HCT seven four HCT three seven four.
seven four HTC or H
Thank you.